Hi there, I'm Darcy Clark. I'm at Yoga Therapy Toronto today. And today we're gonna to practice on the floor, do a bit of a flowing floor practice. First we're gonna start just sitting, warming up a little bit in the spine, and then we'll take it further into a sequence of poses that are tied together with the breath in a flowing manner. Very similar in a way to um, the sun salutations, but this is done without standing up more of a floor practice, a little less strenuous. So uh, let's begin sitting. Find a comfortable seated position. So many of us find it difficult to sit cross-legged even though it's a very good opener for the hips. So um, one way to be able to sit cross-legged in a more comfortable way is with a bit of support underneath you. So you can have a, a, a pillow or a folded blanket, folded however many times you need to for some support underneath your sitting bones. So when you sit on a blanket or a pillow, you want that right below your sitting bones, not directly, you're not sitting your whole bum on it, just more towards the edge of your pillow or blanket, okay? So that's gonna help to bring a little less tension around the hips, relieve some of that tension around the hips, and you're also going to find a little more length in your lower back. So definitely a good thing. So having found a comfortable position for you, just find your feet resting comfortably. And try to relax and soften as best you can around your thighs and your hips, letting go of any gripping there. And take a moment here, resting your hands by your knees and allowing your spine to feel a little taller as you ground down through your sitting bones and relax again through your legs. Now take your hands to the ground beside your hips and as you breathe in, bring both arms to raise up above your shoulders. With your exhale, take your right hand down to the ground and lean over into your right hand to get a bit of a stretch through the left side. Breathing in, come on back upright, floating the arms up. And then exhale and let the left hand come down, leaning over into it. Inhale, back up to center, arms float up, spine lifts. Exhale, bring the right hand down and stretch out through the left. Inhale, come back up, arms lift. And exhale, the left hand down, leaning over into it. Breathing in again, come back to center, arms float up. And exhale, the right hand down, leaning into it. Let's stay here. So the tendency sometimes is that we end up locking the elbow and bringing that e elbow, sorry, the shoulder to the ear. So see if you can root into your palm, bend your elbow so that your shoulder comes away from your ear. That's it. And then open up the belly and the chest to face straight ahead as you find a comfortable reach through the left arm. Breathe into the left side. And then breathing in, come on back upright, floating the arms to lift up, feel like the spine lifts taller. And then exhale the left hand down, lean over into your left hand. Let's be here for a couple of breaths. As you stretch here away from your right hip, try to root that right hip down, down into the ground. So it's almost like a two-way stretch as you root down through your hip, you're lengthening out through the right arm. Again, feeling where the breath moves here. And let's breathe in, come on back upright, floating the arms to lift up. Now this time as you exhale, twist to the right and take your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you. Let's keep it moving with the breath. Inhale back to center, arms float up. And with your exhale, twist to the left, left hand behind you, right hand to the left knee. 
Good, breathing in. Come back to center. Feel the spine lift as the arms lift. Exhale, twisting to the right. Breathing in again, floating the arms up. Spine lifts taller. As you exhale, draw the belly in and twist to the left. Breathing in, come on back to center. Let the spine feel taller. And as you exhale, twist to the right. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. So try not to force your way further into the twist. See if you can feel a comfortable twist here where your belly still moves with your breath. You're not forcing the twist through the neck. And you're trying to feel the twist even down, lower into the spine, through your belly, through your chest. Good, with your next inhale, come on back to center, floating the arms up. And then as you exhale, twist to the left again. Left hand behind you, right hand to the left knee. As you breathe in, find your belly relaxing and filling. And as with your exhale, you can gently hug your belly in and up to increase the twist. It's important to let your belly relax Draw the breath deeper into the body. And with each exhale again, hugging the belly in, powering the twist. All right, let's inhale, come on back out, float the arms up. And exhale, release the arms down. All right, so we've warmed up a little bit in the spine. Let's find a little more movement now. So come off of your blanket. You might want it handy though. And come to sit just behind the center of your mat, okay? So we're gonna start sitting on the heels. Now, if this is really uncomfortable for you, if you find lots of tension around, you know, your quads, your knees, or your ankles, feel free to prop up, okay? So this is where block comes in handy. You can take your block, if you've got one, between your feet. And you can sit back on the block so that you're not feeling it so intensely in the legs. Now you can have your block at whatever height you need it. You can stand it on a taller height or even simply stack two together for even more height. Okay, it doesn't matter where the hips are in relation to the ground. Okay, you can also sit on the end of a bolster or stack a couple blankets together and bring them between your feet for support. Okay, so do what you need to do to ground into both sitting bones into that support beneath you between your feet. And if this really is not comfortable, then you can start on your knees. You'll probably want a blanket under the knees because we're gonna be coming up onto the knees. All right, so if you, this isn't comfortable for you, start here and just follow my arm movements. All right, so sitting back if you can, bring your palms together in front of the heart. And as you breathe in, push down through your legs to come up off the block and lift the arms up and back. Now with your exhale, take your hands to the ground and bring your hips back towards your heels or the block and rest your head. As you breathe in, come on forward into table pose onto your hands and knees. And with your exhale, gently round your back and curl the tailbone under. As you breathe in, lift your tailbone, open your chest and gaze to the front. Now as you exhale, curl your toes under and come into downward dog. Set your hips up and back. Feel free to keep your knees as bent as you like, as you find some strength here in the arms and some strength in the legs as you push down gently through the heels. Find one more breath here. And then we'll basically do the reverse. 
With your next inhale, slowly bring your knees back to the ground. And with your exhale, hug again the belly in as you round your back. Breathing in, open your chest, lift the tailbone, gazing forward. And as you exhale, take your hips back down to the heels and rest your head. Inhale, come up again onto your knees, float your arms up, reach back to open the front. And then exhale and sit back onto the heels, palms together. So we'll repeat this a couple times. Breathing in, coming up. Raising up and back and exhaling, hips down to the heels, head to the ground, child's pose. Inhale, come forward into table, onto your hands and knees. And with your exhale, hug the belly in as you round your back, chin to your chest. And breathe in to open your chest, lift the tailbone as you gaze forward. And exhale again, curl the toes under, back into a downward dog. So find a couple of breaths here. Just rooting again into the palms, finding a sense of lift through your sitting bones as you rest and relax as best you can through your neck. With your next inhale, bring your knees back to the ground for table pose. And let the exhale round the back again through a cat tilt, hugging the belly up. And then breathe in again and open the chest. Roll the shoulders down your back as the tailbone lifts. And exhale, push back slowly into child's pose. Rest your head. Inhale, raise your arms up, come up onto your knees again. Send your hips forward as you reach back. And exhale, palms come together as you sit back onto the heels. Inhale, coming back up, reach the arms up and back. And exhale, hips down, hands to the ground. Breathe in, come forward into table pose. And as you exhale, round your back as you push into the arms, chin comes to the chest. Inhale, circle the shoulders down your back, lift the tailbone, gazing ahead. And exhale to curl the toes under, reach the hips up, downward dog. So pause here, trying to keep your breath nice and steady. Try to keep the exhales at least as long as your inhales. And with your next inhale, bring your knees to the floor again for table pose. And with your exhale, round the back again, hug the belly in and up. Inhale, open the chest, lift the tailbone, gazing forward. And with your exhale, bring your hips back to the heels, rest your head. Breathing in, raise the arms up. Come up onto the knees, reach up and back. And exhale, take the hands together, sitting back onto the heels. One more time, breathing in, rising up, lifting through the arms. Exhale, hips back to your heels, head, hands, rest. Breathing in, come forward into table pose. And as you exhale, curl and round the back. Breathing in, open your chest, lift the tailbone as you gaze ahead. And with your exhale, curl the toes under, lift your hips up and back. And once again, finding your breath steady. With your next inhale, bring your knees back to the ground for table pose. As you exhale, round your back. And breathing in, 
Open your chest again. Roll the shoulder blades down, tailbone lifts. Exhale, send your hips back to your heels. Rest your head. Breathing in, raise your arms up again. Send your hips forward, reach back. And exhale, palms come together down in front of the heart. So let's pause here for a moment. Grounding down again through the legs. And just tuning in to how your breath has changed and how your body feels. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.